Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to mask using Adobe After Effects. Masking is kind of the backbone to every effect in Adobe After Effects. It allows you to blend videos together, to blend effects onto videos, and even to create raw shapes as the basis of other effects. Let's take a quick look. So here I've got a composition open in Adobe After Effects. Uh, first though, let's create a new composition and we'll demonstrate just the very simplest version of masking. I'm going to create a new solid layer and I'll color this orange and let's go up here to our masking tool you click and hold on it you've got a lot of different tools to choose from we can choose a star and open that up or even a simple rectangle or curved rectangle now once you have a mask open you can alter all of the points on the mask set this back to full at will these are uh, no different than drawing with a pen tool inside of Illustrator or something like that. In fact, you can draw a mask with a pen tool here as well. Let's grab the pen tool. I'm just going to draw a very simple mask like so. And it automatically fills it in with the color of the solid. So with these masks, you can also animate them using the path property. Let's go ahead and open up that third mask that I just made. Put a keyframe for the path and we'll move forward. And I'm going to grab this and move it here. Kind of give it a little bit of a spin. So you can see it smoothly deforms between the two positions. And you can select, you can set multiple keyframes in here to get a little bit more detail into your animation or what have you. But there really is no limit to what you can do with masks. This is After Effects, sort of the After Effects core. Let's take a look at a more practical footage example of how to use a mask. So I've got this clone shot. And essentially, what we have is two layers, two separate videos taken off of a tripod, one of them being masked over the other, the same way that you would take a knife to cut part of it out. So if we make that invisible, you can see we've got these two layers here. I'm going to click on the top one and press T to open up its opacity. We'll set it to about 50. That way you can kind of see a ghost of both layers. We'll select the top layer we're cutting out, use the pen tool around here, around the book, down for the arm, back down to the feet, and out. And now what we want to do is bring that opacity back to 100%. So those two are pretty good. Um, you may or may not notice there's a little bit of a cut along the floor, uh, just because the lighting changed a little bit between the two takes. To smooth that out, you've got another property underneath mask called Feather. If we ramp this up, let's say to about between 15 and 20, you can see all of that starts to smooth out nicely. We can even take this shot, dramatically change its coloring. So let's do the uh, brightness and contrast. Increase brightness quite a bit. And again, very clearly defined line. But if we begin to feather it out, it all begins to blend together. So that's really the, the powerful parts about masks, how to animate them, and how to get shots to blend together with them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Josiah Ray.